I have a time series here of monthly visitor arrivals to New Zealand. If we have a quick look at the graph, um, we can see pretty clear seasonal pattern in the in the data. Um, so this U shape. If I ignore that for the moment, um, and I want to do a moving average, and we know um, moving averages should have an odd number of observations in them so that they can be centered. So I suppose I think, okay, nine, nine points is good. Let me average the first nine observations. And let me copy that down to the end of the series. So I'm dragging that little square on the bottom right of the cell. And stopping just short of the end, so this final cell, um, the last observation included is the one in, in row 328. So that's correct. Let me come up here. If I draw the time series graph again, we can see quite clearly. So on the orange line, that that nine point moving average has still a seasonal pattern in it. So it's quite smooth now, but this um, this oscillation is because we've only included nine of the months each time. And the strong seasonal pattern in the data has led to a seasonal pattern in um, this moving average. Okay, so it's monthly data. Um, we should be using a moving average with 12, 12 observations in it. But the problem with 12 is it's even. So we need to um, we need to cope with both those things. So first let me sort out the 12 a 12 point moving average. So there's 12, 12 dates. So let me come in, in here and average. And when I scroll down, I can see that little box telling me there's 12. So I average those 12 numbers and then copy that down. Now, this one here is based on B2 to B13. So it's actually centered um, at that line. The one below is centered here. So what I want here is the average of the two. And now that pulls in the 11 numbers like that with a double weight and then the first and the last April with a single weight. So I can drag all of that down. And then we make sure that, that the bottom one is 328 and that one doesn't exist. Now let me see if I can draw a time series plot. And there in the orange, we see a 2 by 12 point moving average, um, which is nice and smooth and doesn't have that seasonal fluctuation in it. So again, if we just look at the formulas. I've got a 12 point moving average that's not centered. And then a 2 point average of it, um, which does the centering for me.